Time travel is one of the most fascinating and elusive concepts in science fiction that has captivated the imagination of many people for centuries. Imagine if you could visit any moment in history or see what the future holds for you. Time travel is not just a fantasy, but a theoretical possibility based on the laws of physics. Let's explore how the game Quantum Break explores the phenomenon of time travel and see what physics currently has to say on this subject. Quantum Break is a video game that blends action, adventure, and sci-fi elements into a thrilling story that revolves around the concept of time travel and its consequences. The main protagonist, Jack Joyce, gets caught in a faulty experiment that creates a crack in the fabric of space-time and unleashes a wave of chronic energy. The fracture in time manifests as temporal anomalies, such as stutters, where time freezes or rewinds for everyone except those who are exposed to chronic radiation. The game's protagonist is one of those who gain the ability to manipulate time and use it as a weapon against his enemies. The concept of the fracture in time and physics is not well defined, but it could be related to the idea of a singularity, a point where the laws of physics break down and become undefined. A singularity is often associated with black holes, where the gravitational field becomes so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. The singularity is hidden by an event horizon, which marks the point of no return for any object falling into a black hole. However, some theoretical models suggest that there could be other types of singularities, such as naked singularities, which are not surrounded by an event horizon and could be visible to an outside observer. A naked singularity could create a fracture in time, as it would violate some of the basic assumptions of general relativity, such as causality and determinism. In theory, a naked singularity could allow for time travel or create multiple timelines that are inconsistent with each other. However, there is no experimental evidence for the existence of naked singularities, and some physicists believe that they are forbidden by nature or by some yet unknown physical principle. Quantum Break tries to be realistic and scientific in its depiction of time travel. A physicist named Cy Rassinen helped with the logic and consistency of this story. The game explores the paradoxes and dilemmas of time travel, such as the grandfather paradox, the self-fulfilling prophecy, and the butterfly effect. It also raises questions about free will, determinism, and alternate timelines. The player's choices shape the narrative and the outcome of various scenes, and the live-action episodes reveal the viewpoints of different characters and enrich the lore. The game revolves around the concepts of chronofields and chronoparticles, which are essential for both the story and the gameplay. Jack's time powers allow him to manipulate these elements in various ways, such as creating time shields, time blasts, or time rushes, and to explore different timelines and outcomes. Using the same components, the time machine also employs rotating black holes and gravity wells as a means of traveling through time. In an interview with The Wired magazine, Quantum Break director and writer Sam Lake stated that the idea of the chronofields and chronoparticles is based on some real physics concepts, such as the Higgs field, the Higgs boson, and rotating black holes. We had discussions and brainstorming sessions as well around the Higgs field, the Higgs boson and how that relates to the idea of gravity, how, in theory, there could be a similar field and particle that is tied to time. The Higgs boson and the Higgs field are two of the most important concepts in modern physics, related to the origin of mass and the nature of fundamental forces. The Higgs boson was first proposed in 1964 as a way to explain how particles get their mass, discovered, almost 50 years later at CERN in 2012. According to this theory, particles get their mass by interacting with the Higgs field. They do not have a mass of their own. For example, photons do not interact with the Higgs field and therefore have no mass, while electrons, quarks, and bosons do interact and have different masses. When the universe began, no particles had mass. Stars, planets, and life could only emerge because particles gained their mass from a field associated with the Higgs boson. The discovery of the Higgs boson was praised as one of the greatest achievements in science and a milestone in human history and opened up new avenues for research into fundamental questions, such as why there is more matter than antimatter in the universe. 
What is dark matter and dark energy, and whether there are extra dimensions or parallel universes? In the game, these are hypothetical entities related to time that are discovered by one of the scientists. Chronofields are fields that affect the flow of time in a certain area. They can cause time anomalies, such as time stutters, where time freezes or loops. Chrono particles are particles that carry chronin energy and support the chronofields. Using a device called the chronin harness allows the person wearing it to create a localized chronin field around them and control their own personal time. Quantum Break is a unique and immersive experience of time travel that combines gameplay, storytelling, and cinematography. It creates a compelling and complex narrative that challenges the player to think about the implications of time travel and how their actions can shape the future. Time travel is one of the most fascinating ideas in science fiction, but could it ever become a reality? What does physics currently have to say about it? To answer this question, we need to understand what time is and how it relates to space. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, time and space are not separate entities, but aspects of a single entity called space-time. Space-time is a four-dimensional continuum that combines three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. Space-time can be bent and twisted by matter and energy, and this affects how things move and measure distances and angles. But how can we travel in time? One of the most promising candidates is gravitational waves, which are ripples in space-time that are generated by accelerating massive objects, such as colliding black holes or neutron stars. Gravitational waves are like wrinkles in space-time that happen when massive objects move really fast. They carry energy away from the source, and they travel at the speed of light. They can pass through any matter without being affected, unlike the electromagnetic waves, which can be blocked or reflected by matter. They have two polarizations, which describe how they stretch and squeeze space-time along different directions. They can be detected by measuring how they affect space-time and matter. Gravitational waves were predicted by Einstein in 1916, but they were not directly detected until 2015 by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, a network of two detectors in the United States. On September 14, 2015, two detectors of the LIGO Observatory independently recorded a signal of gravitational waves from a colliding system of two black holes. The detection was announced in 2016 and was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2017. The discovery of gravitational waves is a remarkable confirmation of the theory of general relativity because it shows that space and time are dynamic and can be distorted by matter and energy, and predicts that accelerating masses can produce ripples in the fabric of space-time. But what does this have to do with time travel? Well, one of the implications of general relativity is that time is not absolute, but relative. This means that time can run faster or slower depending on the speed or gravity of the observer. For example, if someone travels at a very high speed or near a very strong gravitational field, such as a black hole, their clock will tick slower and they will return to find that more time has passed for the rest of the world than for them. This is called time dilation, and it has been experimentally verified by comparing atomic clocks on airplanes or satellites with those on Earth. It also shows that Einstein's field equations are correct and could predict the behavior of gravitational waves. Moreover, it shows that some of the predictions of general relativity that were previously untested or inaccessible are now observable and verifiable. For example, the existence of black holes with a boundary called the event horizon, which marks the point of no return for anything that falls into them and a singularity at their center where space-time becomes infinitely curved and density becomes infinitely high. Black holes are expected to emit gravitational waves when they merge with other black holes or other compact objects, such as neutron stars. It also opens up a new way of observing the universe, as gravitational waves can reveal information about the sources that emit them, such as their masses, spins, and distances. Some physicists have suggested that gravitational waves could create shortcuts or wormholes in space-time that could allow for faster-than-light travel or even time travel. A wormhole is a hypothetical tunnel that connects two distant points in space or two different moments in time. However, 
There are many challenges and uncertainties involved in this idea. We do not know if wormholes exist or if they are stable enough to allow for safe passage. Time travel remains a fascinating but elusive topic that requires further theoretical and experimental investigation. Therefore, while gravitational waves open new possibilities for exploring the nature of space-time and testing Einstein's theory of relativity, there's no confirmation yet that they open the door to time travel. One thing is certain, a new field of astronomy is opening up to us, gravitational wave astronomy. Because, unlike electromagnetic radiation, which can be blocked by matter or gravity, gravitational waves travel across the universe with almost no interference, carrying pure and pristine information about their sources. By detecting and analyzing the signals carried by gravitational waves, we can observe the universe in a new and unprecedented way, revealing hidden secrets and amazing phenomena that were previously invisible to us. A curtain on the universe has been lifted, opening up new possibilities for research and discovery in physics, astronomy, and astrophysics. Gravitational waves are giving us a completely new perspective on the universe around us. This is a rare and remarkable achievement in modern science, as only a few times in history have we discovered new ways to study the universe. In just a couple of years since the first detection, this field has already begun to transform our understanding of the cosmos. We are at a turning point in science. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.